right, so uh, hello everybody, how are you all doing? Um, it's been a little while since we've seen each other. So today I figured uh, we're going to learn a little bit about uh, Java. Now, uh, to you get our compiler for Java, or all the utilities we're going to use, but the only thing we're concerned about is our compiler. Now, as you know me, I like to compile things using the compiler because it makes it for a really minimal installation for your coding environment. And you have seen me use this editor before. I used it for every single language so far in every one of my videos. It just gets the work, it just gets the job done, you know, you don't need anything else. You just have to install your compiler and you can write code in pretty much Notepad. But I prefer a purpose plus because it gives you a syntax highlighting and sometimes fairly good suggestions based on what you want to do. But it's beside the point. Today's topic is uh, getting Java installed and writing our first Hello World program. So how do we get the Java compiler? To get the Java compiler you'll have to go to the download link in the description. And uh, what you end up on is the uh, Java SE Development Kit 14 downloads page. You want to scroll down, all the way down, till you find Windows 6, X64 installer. It has around 162 megabytes, and it's this far right here. Once you click it, uh, it will come up with a pop-up message, and you have to take this box, and then click the download button here. Now, I already have it downloaded, so let me just go and find the file. It's in my downloads folder, and it was... Down here, here it is. This is my uh, JDK 14.0.1. It's the same file as you have seen here. See, it's the exact same file. I just already have it downloaded. It's been in my downloads directory for a little while. So, let's just uh, close our browser because we're not going to need it. Bear in mind that once you've downloaded it, you don't have to have your browser open because I'm going to go to the installation bit view. To, first off, I want to preface it with something. I already have a JDK installed. However, it's not the version that I need. To check your version, just in case you already have it installed, just type in Java C and then do dash dash version. Because this will list out the version of your Java C or your Java compiler. As you can see, I have an older version. I have 11.0.6. The latest one as of recording this video is 14.01. So we're going to install that. So double click the installer, click yes if you are prompted, and there it is, here is our installer. So what you want to do is you want to click next, and then you want to click install, bear in, remember this location, but you're not, you don't even like need to remember it because I'm going to show you where to find it, but it's really, just make a mental note where it is, click next. And just let it install. It shouldn't take that long. It obviously depends on how fast your computer is. Mine is fairly fast, but it's not the fastest machine either. So, kind of like a mid-range machine, but it works. It gets the job done. I can do all my development on it. So, and there it is. It has been successfully installed, as you can see. So, the only thing left for us to do is click close. So after that has been done, uh, what do we have to do now? Well, now we have to go and find our system variables. To do that, we need to go into our control panel. Uh, wait for everything to load, obviously. Uh, then click system. Advanced system settings. Environment variables. And find in system variables, go and find the path. And let me just remove this because it wasn't here before. So, what you have to do is you have to click new, this new button here, and give it the directory to find where the directory is. You could just simply have done it using the browse function here. And what you would do is you would go to this PC. C, and I've already picked my C drive because it's the only drive in my computer. And then you want to go to uh, Program Files, Java, and JDK, and then bin. So, uh, our JDK is the 14.0.1, which is the one we've installed. 
And we want the paint folder because it contains the executable of everything. Then we click OK, as you can see it has been added. And if you already have, as you can say, already have a few JDKs installed, but these are all the versions. So in order to make it use this one as its main or as its default one, I just have to move it up a bunch of lines. Yes, there we go. So you can see I have a bunch of JDKs installed, so I have to move it into the second position because it would otherwise pick the Adopt Open JDK one, which is not the one I want to use. I want to use this one, which is from Java themselves. Themselves. So I have to have done the second line here because I already have a bunch of JDKs installed, as you can see. But we want to use this as the main one, and that's okay with me. So we click OK. And also one more thing, uh, in case you already have Java installed and you wanted to use the JDK as its default one, just change this directory to the JDK one as I showed you before. Again, you can go to browse for a directory. So again, this PC, C drive and program files, scroll down a little, Java, JDK 14.0.1 and bin and pick the bin folder, click OK and that's it. Click OK and that's pretty much everything set up. So we click OK, we click OK and we can close this window. So what will happen now if we decide to run the command again? As you can see our version has changed to 14.0.1 so we do not even have to reboot. So with that set up, what can we do? Well, you might have noticed I had a file prepared for us. So I might just close this folder because I'm not going to need it. So how do we work with this? Well, uh, compared to other languages like Python, um, here we have to have some sort of prepared environment. Kind of like in our C Sharp or C++ tutorials as I did recently with C++. Uh, the main thing to remember is this class can be titled whatever we want. I would recommend to change this to something that uh, re represents the program. So in case you have like a different name, but you want to still know the program like for what it's for. Like for example, I could change the my class to uh, I don't know hello world, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to just keep the my class thing because. You don't have to change it in order to make the app work, it's just something I like doing. Um, so the class is pretty much like the uh, main section of the code where it contains our main function. And the main function is going to be the first thing that's, that gets executed no matter what. So in case you like define a different class or a different void, it will always go through this main void function first which is really important to remember because you can literally put any other function before it but it's not gonna get executed if you do not call it so for now just remember that this section this section of code gets executed first before any other that's all you have to know so we have a Java compiler installed and our environment prepared also one more thing I didn't, I didn't mention I should uh, it, my file here is titled the hello world.java and it's located in my uh, code directory. Just remember that if you are going to compile anything, it has to have the .java extension. That's really important, but I... It should be obvious, but I'm just gonna point it out there. Alright, so what do we do? So to get... So, obviously, we have our compiler installed. And we now we want... Now what we want to do is we want to print out some text or screen. Well, first off, I'm going to change directory to where my code is. Now, luckily for me, my code is located in a very specific spot. It's under my C drive in my code directory. If I decide to list out my uh, folder contents, you'll see I have a bunch of stuff here already. One important thing to remember is I have a hell world the Java file here, which is the one that, you know, we've created. According to the date, which today is the 5th, of a, uh, it's the 4th of uh, May, which it makes sense because it's the date of recording it. And uh, it has just this file size, which is a nice number by the way. And here's a hello for the child file name. So this is what you want to focus on. 
So, with it prepared, uh, what else is there to do for us? Well, what we need to do is we need to get some sort of output to our screen. Well, to do that, we have to write these lines exactly. Or just this one line, because it's, you know, a bit of text. So you type in system dot. And then type in out, because you want output. And then print line, so you would do it like this, print ln, which basically says print line. And then uh, there's normal brackets and then the semicolon. And in the normal brackets you want to put in double quotes, because you want some sort of text to be printed out. And let's say, hello world. You know, because that's the very first program everyone should write in their first, in their language they decide to learn. Uh, so, with that written out, what does someone actually do in order to compile it? To compile our code is actually somewhat easier than some of you might think. Uh, to compile our code, all we have to do is type in Java C, which, is, which if you remember is our compiler that we've just installed. And uh, then the name of the app, which in our case is uh, hello world.java. Uh, you might want to write it out fully, but if this is the only file you have in your code directory or in the place you have saved your code, you just have to press that once. I had to press it a bunch of times because if you remember, I already have a few iterations of the program in different languages here. So just remember that, but it's really not that difficult. Just make sure that it has the .java extension and you should be good to go. So Java C and the name of the file with the .java extension. Once I hit enter, it's going to compile and it's done. Uh, so if you remember in my C++ video, we had a fairly complicated uh, piece of string, like a really complicated command just to get our executable. In Java, there's almost nothing like an executable. The only thing you do in Java is you compile this and it saves it as a fairly different file format for you. So with it being compiled, what else is there to do for us? Obviously we have to run our compiled file. So one interesting thing that Java does, it, it compiles itself into a file essentially. So to run it, just type in Java and then the name of the app, which in our case is hello world.java. Once I hit enter, you'll notice that it, read out, that it wrote out hello world as we wanted to. So it did what we wanted it to do, but let's say we want to be a bit more adventurous. Well, what we could do is we could define a string. I'm not going to go into much detail what a string is, but what all you have to remember is that a string is a variable that can store pretty much any form of text. So we're going to call this one text. And it's going to contain our text we want to write out. So um, this is my, whoops, this is my first app in Java. There we go. And all you have to do to print out the text you wrote out, wrote out is let's just get this line of code copied and let me just change this thing here. So in order to get that this text up here we wrote out to be printed out here, all we have to do is type in text and that's it. So what we've done here is we've defined ourselves a string variable. The string variable pretty much is a well, it's a variable that can contain text, and the text it's going to contain is wrote out using these double quotes. And anything that's in the double quotes is going to be stored inside of our text variable. And you might have noticed by highlighting this, it highlighted even this one right here. So what are we doing here is it's going to print out hello world, and then it's going to print out this text we wrote right here. Or at least it's shit, I never done this much with Java before. So I'm pretty much learning along with you guys. So let's compile it and see what it does. Obviously it says that there is, you know, there's an error with this. Cannot find a symbol. 
and I'm guessing that it has to be let me have a look here I've never done this before so um, I'm just trying to okay so it has to be capitalized obviously okay it makes more sense now so let's try compiling this again and as you can see it now works so one very important thing with Java is that uh, most of its variables are capitalized, so unlike any other language, like, but I don't know, let's compare it with Python, because it's the one I'm more familiar with. Uh, you might remember that in Python, all we have to do to define a string, like, it defines the exact same way, but it has to be called a string with the capitalized version, because Java is like that, and it's a bit more complicated than any other language that you choose to work with. So anyway, so it got compiled now successfully. So all we have to do to run it is obviously run java hello world.java. And there we go. So it said hello world, this is my first app in Java. And that's pretty much it. That's all you, that's all you have to know. There is not much else to it. We install our compiler. And we got our first application working. As I mentioned, this class can be called whatever you want, but for simplicity's sake, I'm going to keep the my class title because it's much easier to work with and there's not much hassle surrounding it. So, with all of that said and done, um, can we work on anything else? Well, obviously, we could. But I'm not going to fit it all into the scope of this one video because it's not needed. And um, I'm just showing you guys that you do not need any really extensive editors, any extensive IDEs. And running pretty much a text editor is possible even on a low end laptop. Um, I would show you this, but my laptop currently runs Linux. It's not an issue, but that's beside the topic. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, if you liked it, leave a like, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do, but I'm just going to try and figure out things as they go along. And uh, make sure to stay safe and have fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.